have resorted to scouting in my old neighborhood, if you can't tell. Um, numbers are low, here in my area at least. What up y'all, and welcome back to another one. And when I mean low, man, I ain't making it up. These are no excuses. Oh, Frederick. What up, Frederick? What's up, dude? How are you doing today? He's doing real good, actually. Uh, he got to come along with Dad on this turkey scouting. I have been scouting every morning and night. Uh, started with Gerald about four or five days ago, and now this is my second day scouting really hard morning and evening. Um, I'm going to make a long story short here. Uh, we got clients, I, I'm going to call them clients, they're the turkey hunt winners. Uh, the giveaway over out on the podcast, the winners, they come in, what is today, 13th? 13th, they come in the 15th. So we've already resorted to, uh, we're going to go out to Preston's properties. Uh, there's just a ton more birds out there compared to here at home. So one downfall is... I don't know if they're gonna uh, get to stay in the lodge here. Hold on a minute. Here's my wife. Hello. Hello, your wife. Hello, my wife. I'm filming. You didn't like any of those? Yeah, I like those. Oh. Those are good logos. Currently, the wife, my wife, my beautiful, lovely wife. Hold on, Bodie, you're being loud. I still got him on the phone. Designing Sandhill Flyway hats. Check that out. I like it, babe. I like the round logo, but it's just a little too small. What do y'all think? You got to drop a comment down below. What do you think, babe? We're working on a new one because I don't like the way it's printed on the hat. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look bad, but it needs to be, a, the letters definitely need to be like a little bit bigger. Yeah, like it could be a t-shirt design or something, but I think if we actually want a hat, you want it noticeable that it says Sandhill Flyway and not kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Right now you kind of look at it and you're like, what is it? Oh, you know. Yeah, it's a it's a lesser Canada goose with Sandhill Flyway, but I do think that the lettering needs to be a little bigger, and I'm going to take the round logo and put it on a hoodie and a shirt. Uh, when they're available, me and the wife, my beautiful wife, will let you all know, won't we, babe? Yep. But, oh, here, Fred. There you go, buddy. But this is uh, the usual spots here in residential little areas like this. It's money, money. My old neighborhood, I would uh, be able to walk out the back door with my bow, with my crossbow, with my shotgun, whatever it might be, and go. I've been wanting to shoot one with a crossbow the last week and no birds. No birds at all. Last night, uh, or yesterday, I drove morning night. I found a tom in the morning. I found the farmer in the afternoon, went and scouted the evening, put him to bed pretty much. He was in the same exact spot. I'm like, hell yeah. I'm gonna have a bird for the morning to go do a solo crossbow hunt called the farmer to get the permission I found out who it was and I'm like oh I might have a good chance I know that guy uh, always been really nice to me always treated me well called and he said Bob I'd let you but you are the fifth person that's called on that one bird and I'm like are you serious he's like yeah what where's all the birds at he's like usually I don't get but a couple calls per year and I've had five calls for one bird and I'm like wow but my goal with this video is to find a bird, uh, try to get it on film with the big lens, I brought the big lens, and then go do a solo hunt on it tomorrow at some point. I'm hoping it'll happen. I'm keeping my fingers crossed and I'm driving a ton. Uh, to add to uh, the, scarce, the scarcity of birds, uh, Gerald, in the last week, he said he's put on 3,000 miles. 3,000 miles. And let me tell you, if anybody puts on 3,000 miles for turkey, it's G-Wagon. I'm not kidding you. Uh, 3,000 miles, and he said last night, we're in a Snapchat group, and he said last night he has one shooter for the morning. 
after a week and 3,000 miles. So that's why we're going out east. We have to go out east. There's just a lot more birds out that way. But uh, I'm gonna probably screw on the big lens. Hopefully we can spot a tom strutting around that we can get permission on. Uh, and I'll probably film the occasional duck because there's some beauties around right now. Well, check this out. Here's one of our roosts. Still got quite a few lessers on it. I'm surprised. I'll be darned. Check it out. Some juvie snow geese still. A five pack, that's wild. They're right there on that bank. One, two, three, four, five. They're gray too. And then check out. Bunch of spoonies out there. Quite a few spoonies. But these snow geese are definitely lost. I'm not lying. Lots of spoonies here right now. Geese back there fighting. Look at that. I've seen spoonies do this a lot where they circle. I think it's just a feeding deal in the water. You tell me. But that's the biggest feeding circle of spoonies I've ever seen. There's gotta be 20 or 30 or more in that. I usually only see them with a couple at a time. That's crazy. <laughs> That is wild. They get in a circle like that. What are they doing? Are they, they all find food together and they're diving on the same part? What's going on? Feeding of some sort, I'll tell you. It's beautiful. Well, just popped one arrow. It's my old bow. I'm gonna be buying a new one like I've been hyping up. But this is a good old Hoyt. A uh, Hoyt? I know you guys are gonna ask a Hoyt charger. I had to get cam extensions a couple years back and all sorts of stuff. But um, I really wanna shoot one with a compound bow. I have uh, shot a turkey with, with a uh, crossbow, but never a, my compound. So I wanna get trained up. I wanna make it happen. It's really been a dream of mine to make it happen. I'm decent with a bow, I feel. Not the best by no means, but I'm decent. Decent enough to kill a gobbler, I feel. Oh yeah, we're decent. Now, mind you, I have not shot my bow or any bow. Uh, it's probably been two years since I've actually even fired this, this bow. Um, but never too late, right? Never too late. I actually like this bow. It's just too small for me and I could never get it really, really comfy for myself. I, I just could never get it spot on. You know, I'm decent up to about 30 yards and then it kind of gets sporadic, but I just need to shoot a bunch more. I can tell you right now. Go take a look. It's probably not the prettiest thing you've ever seen. Off season. When waterfowl hunting ain't here, your boy gets bored. Look at that. Same thing like always. Shooting right. That's what this bow always does. These two I stacked up very, very nicely. I think this was my last shot here. And I adjusted my, uh, my peep a little bit. But that's right about 25 yards. Not bad, not bad for just picking it up. I'm gonna get to practicing some more here. You can only imagine how my nerves would be going trying to hold that sucker still for up to seven, eight minutes. Uh, if y'all haven't watched, I posted it, what, a handful of videos back? Uh, last year's turkey hunt with a crossbow. I had to hold that bow up for, it was every bit of eight, seven to 10 minutes. 
man that's gonna be hard with that but i really want to make it happen it's either gonna be archery yep or it's gonna be 410 y'all gotta let me know down in the comment section right now archery or 410 here in kansas now maybe we go and get it done with the 410 first and then we go up north of home here where i can shoot my second bird here in kansas and try for an archery bird let me know all right, bud, we're almost done. There you go. Put that over there with that. Good, Good boy. There you go. Here's those two. Good job. Oh, did you get that one? Yep. Got it. Good job, bud. Go put it on the pile. There you go. Good job, buddy. Here you go. Thank you. We're almost done. We're almost done, aren't we? Yeah. Me and Bodie, we're picking up the A-frame we used for the last video, aren't we? Yeah. Gotta pick up them A-frames and we gotta put them away right, don't we, bub? Yeah. Yeah, my boy. Where's the camera? I don't know where the camera is. Here, Bubba. Here you go. Thank you, bud. You are such a big helper, you know that? Yeah. Daddy loves you. Thank you, man. You help Daddy, you're a big boy. All right, you ready to roll her up? Yeah. All right, let's roll her up, big man. I think you just hide. There we go, buddy. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, you got her, don't you, Bub? The camera was sitting on the bucket the whole time, Bub. You didn't see it? No. You did it. Have you been catching eggs out in the yard? Yeah. Yeah. You want to go catch some bullfrog soon? Yeah. That's your favorite thing to do, isn't it, buddy? Yeah. Hey, well, you went goose hunting this year, didn't you? Did you love it? Yeah. Were you with Daddy and the boys? Yeah, that's my big dude. Thank you for helping, Daddy. I would say, out of every hunt that I've ever done in my life, me and Bodie's hunt this year was amazing. Not, not only was it one of the best hunts of the year, um, it was... We did a hunt he here, Daddy. We hunt somewhere else. Yeah, we just hunted right down the road, didn't we? Yeah. It was really good. For his first hunt, first experience waterfowl hunting he he's ate up with it already i can tell but um this video not a lot going on to be honest with you uh, a little update on the turkey situation it's the evening now been scouting just got home i had nothing to to film with the big lens except for the ducks and geese this morning uh, i called wade y'all know wade i was like hey do you have a gobbler anywhere that you know of that i could shoot in the morning with a bow or crossbow and he was like ha ha no way he said been looking for the last week and he's literally came up with zero just talked to my buddy charlie the dog trainer he did say that he had a ton uh, of turkey available to shoot down south of us about an hour so i don't know what's up with my area this year and even last year but just been very very scarce uh but gonna try to get after it sorry i didn't i wasn't able to go after him on this video uh, this is a just a good old Bobby Guy Films video, you know, kicking it at home, doing some scouting together, having you guys in my daily routine, and uh, that's what that's what t this video was. In between uh, scouting, I, I've been home uh, calling a lot of you guys back that are have inquired to book a hunt here at Sand Hill Flyways. Uh, the books are open to the public. I want to let you guys know if you guys want to inquire. Here comes a duck right over the lodge. If you guys want to inquire to book a duck slash goose hunt, uh, hit up right here. Hit us up, sandhillflyways.com. Uh, hit the menu button at the top right. Go down to the booking page and fill out the inquire to book form. Make sure in that form, if you do fill one out, how many uh, is in your group, how many guys, how many guns. 
what dates you're interested in initially, uh, your email and your phone number, and we will get back to you like really soon. Are you ready for all the clients to be back in all the hunting, Bubba? Yeah! You loved it, didn't you? It's the best. Bubba, you ready for all the boys to be back? Yeah. Yeah, you We can be with Brad, too. And Brad the Frogman? Yeah. He loves oh, when... I know, man. He loves when all the guides are here, all the clients are here. Heck, what's awesome is a lot of times, clients... They bring their sons or their daughters, and Bodie literally spends the three days that they're here just playing, and it's it's priceless. I I wouldn't change it for the world. I would not. I wouldn't trade anything for for what I got going on, and it's uh, all because you guys being here. And so I want to say thank you. Not going to get too emotional. Look for all you magnet fishing fans. I busted out the old magnets, getting them ready to go. Yep, it's coming. The warm season's coming. So. Uh, warm season videos coming as well but subscribe if you haven't thank you all for being here like always the turkey videos are firing up i'm headed out east tomorrow it's going to be back to back to back turkey hunts so hope you guys are getting out there and enjoying yourselves be safe always um just always be safe with your gun shotgun season's open for a lot of you and here in kansas it opens in two days so just be careful uh please be mindful of being on safety at all times, your trigger on safety, and knowing where your gun is pointed at all times, especially if you're hunting with other people. Thank you all, and we will see you on the next one. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the deep.